Hi, I am Juliano and today I'm going to show you how to make this glass and grid effect. We have this variation uh, with borders. And so let's go. File, new, and let's start. First of all, MoGraph, MoTeXt, and let's choose a good uh, font. I will choose Ebrima here. Let's use Mido C4D. Oops. D. And let's use both. Okay? Easier to see. Now, in the mode text, in caps, let's choose fillet cap, fillet cap, and the steps will be 10 here. Well, we don't need the back fillet cap. Let's use just cap, okay? Mm, let's make a copy and in the first text let's create some materials and check color in the reflectance channel let's get rid of this default specular add some ggx in this ggx let's choose a layer for now conductor in the presets let's find mm, Titanium nitride, okay. Uh, roughness in one percent to have some blur, and this is our base material. Okay, I don't know if you know, but these corners here are the R1 tag, and this this front part is the C1 tag. So we can just uh, paint some regions. So let's create another material. In this material, I will load the grid texture. I will use this one. And this pack will be available in video description. Let's drag and drop our texture to bump channel. Check bump. Go down to 10%. And in parallax offset, Let's use 15. This is the responsible for our 3D effect. In our reflectance channel, let's get rid of our default specular, add some GGX, and here we will choose dielectric. In the preset, let's choose oil vegetable to get some good reflections. Uh, let's go to bump channel and drag and drop our texture to our reflection channel and drop it in our brightness texture to limit our reflections, okay? Now we can drag our material to our mode text and in the selection field we can type R1. This will be this tag region here, okay? Let's change our projection to cubic to have better uh, a better image here and let's do the same to our front view and in the selection let's type C1 so we have this change the projection to cubic so both are the same now and if we see this closer in rendering we will see this effect this is the parallax effect you can control this as you wish here in bump channel if you want a little less here okay let me create a camera and put a protection tag okay now we need a color here to get a better result. So in our grid material, let's go to color channel and let's create a layer. 
in this layer we will choose a shader and this shader let's choose gradient click on the gradient change it for 2 dv and in this little arrow let's choose a preset uh, could be this one I already use it okay let's go back one level change the gradient to multiply let's select our two material textures and in offset V we can change this position okay here oops yes and in our length V we can change this size let me see here yes okay good now if we render now we have this and we need some reflections so let's create our sky and now we already can see something okay but it's not good enough so let's create a material for this sky uh, new material and here let's create our HDR in color channel let's choose gradient click on gradient and drag the white knot here and let's create more knots click control or command and drag to here one uh, two blacks two whites three blacks three whites four blacks four whites click in any knots and choose distribute knots change it for 2D uh, V to have horizontal lines let's go back one level in gradient let's create a layer click on layer new shader okay another gradient click in this gradient let's do the same but just one time click in black knot and drag it until the end distribute knots let's go back one level again and choose multiply so we have this kind of gradient click on color drag and drop it in luminance channel check luminance uncheck reflectance and this will be our ADDR put a cinema for the tag compositing tag uh, and check scene by camera so it will not be visible for us for now we have this and now we have some good reflections go to our render settings choose ambient occlusion and choose global illumination in global illumination let's for now use preview to have a faster render and in general let's choose the secondary method light light mapping to have a better lights in ambient occlusion don't forget to check evaluate transparencies because now we will use a glass material and glass materials stay black if you don't check evaluate transparency in ambient occlusion so new material and check color uh, check transparency and in refraction presets let's choose glass check uh, additive to have a better reflections in reflectance channel get rid of the default specular and now we put this material in our second mode text active it uh, release our camera change the position and now let's put our second text a little bit ahead something like this now in our second mode text let's change our radius to 5.2 point oops point 0.2 to cover our structure with a little layer of glass and now we can control here covering everything or just the front let's keep just the front for now a little change here in caps just point 0.1 is okay let's achieve our camera 
and for now let's see okay it's good but we can have a better result let's choose both of the mode texts and in object let's me let me see no here in caps let's check create single objects this will create one single object uh, for each mode text okay let's see now the reflections yes better result and if you want you can cover everything with a little layer of glass okay choose the second mode text go here to object oh sorry yes object and change the depth okay cover it and now render again this is our result with the layer of glass and this glass can be better how choose the glass material in reflectance channel add a new backman and you see uh, more reflections change the brightness to something like 50 and let's see now okay this is our result this is really bad with better reflections and we can do some variations of this so let's create a new copy of this material let's get rid of this texture here uh, let's make it bigger in our radius something like uh, 7.1 8 maybe okay change the fillet type to half circle drag it behind here and we have this variation okay another variation we can do is create a new object drag this first two mold text inside new and create a subdivision surface put our new inside subdivision surface and we have this mess <laughs> Click on subdivision surface and change the Catmull Clark endgons because we don't need endgons now to just Catmull Clark and we have this result. For this problem here, we can go to our mode texts and change your behavior here in object, change the intermediate points. Let's choose. You can choose natural or subdivided okay let's change subdivided and if you experiment some issue in your mesh just change angle and maximum lift okay i will put this second layer here a little bit ahead okay and let's see our result now let me put this same texture here in our mode text um, just a little dark change here okay and in our reflectance channel a less bright to have a dark material darker material and let's see now now we can change the color let's change here in color in our layer just change uh, here using another preset I choose this one and we have a better result if we drag and drop the same material to our luminous channel and check it let's see now okay looks good let's change our HDR material to see some variations create a new material go to uh, active our material huh? go to our content browser in this little glass here type HDR and we will see a great number of HDRs this glow kitchen is good drag and drop to our color channel the same for our luminous channel okay change it in our sky and let's see now it's a good result you can see this some kind of problems here just go to our mode text and change our angle 
and if you need you can change the maximum length let's see yes this is our final result it's a good result this example is in low resolution you can change to physical render or in anti-aliasing change it, the geometry parameter to best I think it's not bad I promise you I will keep practicing my English and this is the end for now I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next tutorials.